Do you utilize Aweber for your email marketing? Let me show you how to integrate it with Jotform Sign. Hey Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a signed document. So I'm gonna go up to the top left-hand corner of our screen where it says my forms, do the drop down. We're gonna head to my sign documents. Next, we're gonna click the create sign document button. And if you already have a PDF version of what they need to sign, you can always utilize the upload document option. But for this example, we're gonna head over to use template. And just to keep things simple, I'm gonna go ahead and use this very first one, the simple one page lease agreement. And one thing I like to do whenever I come into any sign document, I always like to take a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So down here at the bottom, I can see that the tenant is in purple. And up here at the top, we also have the tenant. So I need to go ahead and change this over to be the tenant. And because we're using this with our email marketing, we need to be sure to add the email field. Let me go ahead and drag and drop this right over here and we can see it's already programmed in as the tenant which is perfect so now all we need to do is we need to integrate with aweber so i'm going to head up to the top we're going to head to the middle tab settings then on the far left integrations and if we don't see aweber right here we can always come up here and do a quick search now it's time to authenticate whenever we click the authenticate button it's just going to have you log into aweber all right, so the first question is, we need to choose a list that we want this contact to go into. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this first one, our app test list. Now we need to match the fields. So the full name, right now it has it as me, the landlord, but I need it to be my tenant. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the tenant name and it populated the email perfectly. If we need to add any other fields, we can do that here. The next at the bottom, we can apply any tags we need to if we see fit. We can add and we can also remove. And then at the bottom, we can also update the contact if the contact exists, if we wanna turn that on. We're good to go, so let's go ahead and complete integration. And the integration is ready, so let's go ahead and click finish. Now we just need to send this document. So I'm gonna head up to the send tab. And first thing we need to do is we need to enter in our tenant's information. And as of right now, if I click send to sign, both parties are going to get this document at the same time. And that's not what I want to happen. I want to ensure that I get it first and then my tenant gets it second. So in order to do this, we just turn on the signing order. And then if we need to move them around, we can do that here. But as of right now, it's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click send to sign. All right, so let's head over to our emails. Now the first person to get it was the landlord. So I'm gonna go ahead and review and sign this document. And it went ahead and pre-filled in my name. So I'm just gonna skip down here just for the sake of time. We're gonna fill out our signature and the date. And then we'll click next. Then sign and complete and accept and send. All right, now let's head up to our leasee's email and review and sign document. And we can see it went ahead and pre-populated my name and my email. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll to the bottom and let's get this signed and dated. And sign and complete and accept and send. All right, let's head back over to Aweber. And we see our leasee here being added today. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing the integration between Aweber and Jotform Sign, let us know. If you liked this video and you got some value from it, be sure to hit that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. And I'll see you next time.